morning students today we are going to see about the microorganisms all about the microorganisms about the nature then the types the cell structure all the things we are going to see in this class so first let's see what are microorganisms so microorganisms or microbes which are microscopic organisms that exist as unicellular or multicellular cell clusters that is a unicellular that uh, they contain only one single cell and uh, if it is a multicellular they have a multiple number of cells yeah? or a, what is a, like a cell stuck cluster means it will be in the, in the form of group and uh, they are widespread in nature everywhere there is a microorganisms and uh, they may be a beneficial or uh, may cause a harmful effects to a human beings or other living organisms yeah? And usually the microorganisms are, uh, can be classified into bacteria, fungi, protozoa, algae and viruses and let's see one by one the different types of microorganisms. So first we are going to see about the bacteria. So this bacteria is a very small uh, in size and the size ranges from 0.5 to 2.5 micrometer in diameter. And usually, the the types of bacteria will uh, be there uh, will be in this uh, different sizes, and they are usually unicellular. That is, they contain only one single cell. And the characteristics uh, there may be a different types of bacteria which may be characterized by their size, shape, structure, and arrangements. And usually, there are three forms. What are they like? like uh, they are called as bacilli, cocci, and spiral form. So what is bacilli? Bacilli is a plural uh, word and bacillus is a singular form and uh, most commonly these bacillus species are rod shaped that is a uh, like they will be in a cylindrical shape and which can be vary in their length and their breadth and this rod uh, like uh, that is a uh, cylindrical cells may be sometimes they will be straight or uh, they will be slightly curved at the center. The next is a coccus. Coccus is a singular form and cocci is a plural form. And the last is the least common form that is a spiral which where the cell will be a curved spiral like in a spiral binding will be seeing a spirally shaped uh, binding. So there will be like that shape. In the last picture we can see the spiral form of the bacteria and the first picture that is a cocci that they are in a round shape or in the oval shape and uh, the center is in bacillus that is I told you that will be in the cylindrical or a rod shape bacteria and uh, mostly they will be in the singular or in the form of, of uh, uh, um, they, they will be joined together and form a different shapes so when they are in the singular form they are called as a bacillus and uh, coccus and then spirillum and uh, if they are in the chains if it is it is called as a chain of cocci then uh, if it is like a cluster like a, a bunch of grapes it is like a cluster of cocci and if only two are there in the structure they are called as pair of cocci or if it is a baseless species they will be arranged in the form of chain they are called as a chain of bacilli. So next we are going to see about the arrangements of the bacteria itself. So this arrangement may be vary according to the different species of bacteria. Uh, so that is a we have already seen that is cocci exists either singly or in a pair or in a long chain and bacilli also in a single cell maybe or in the long chain then the spiral they occur together in the uh, H, S shape strands and uh, they called as a spirillum like spiral cell structure we are going to see about the structure of cells then now what are the different parts of the cells so first has a, they have a outer wall or a membrane cytoplasm and the nuclear material these uh, three forms comprises the cell of the bacteria the outer part which is made up of the cell wall cytoplasmic membrane and slime layer so the cell wall is the most important uh, part of the cell which gives the shape to the cell the different shapes of the cell will be uh, 
given only by the how the cell wall has formed and usually the cell wall will be in very thick uh, uh, structure so they are made up of a protein and complex carbohydrates or polysaccharides they also contain the large amount of fat or lipid and what is a uh, most uh, important role is it gives a protection to the cell and gives protection to the cytoplasm also plays an important role in the cell division so this is the structure of the bacterial cell so <clears throat> So, so this is the outer cell that is a outer part of the cell that is called as a cell wall. So what is the role which is uh, the cell wall play in, in place is the first one regulates the passage of material between the external and internal environment that is uh, without their knowledge uh, uh, anything can be go out or get in inside the cell. The next is a cell a slime layer, which is like a jelly-like substance, which surrounds the bacteria. And some slime, which um, um, uh, which is be um, the thick and covers the bacteria, which are called as a capsules. That is a the slime layer only, which becomes very thick and covers the bacteria uh, as a cover. So that is called as a capsule. So this capsule also gives the protection against the invasion of the other foreign substances or foreign invaders. So that is a capsule that um, surrounds the cell wall. That is a capsule. Then um, cytoplasmic membrane which will be present inside the cell wall which initiates a cell division and control the entrance of food into the cell and clear the waste products. So what is the initiate cell division means it helps in the reproduction also and uh, it helps to control the food in and out of the cell and also helps in clearing the waste products out of the cell. Then uh, next part is uh, cytoplasm which is a complex substance and it contains an important part that is a nuclear body which is rich in DNA, ribosomes which is consist of RNA. So this nuclear body, why we are saying as an important part? Because it is the one which helps in the reproduction of the cells. And this ribosomes which helps in the synthesis of protein. Then another part is called as a flagella. This is a only means of locomotion of the bacteria. That is, they can uh, move from one place to another by only means of this flagella. So that is the move means are like they can swim from one place to another by the small appendage, just be there at uh, the um, uh, whole part of the body or at the, both the ends of the cell. So this is a flagella that uh, they can be there at or surrounding the whole uh, part of the body or at the one end or at the both the end of the bacteria. So this is the microscopic view of the uh, bacterial cell that they are having a cell wall, then the cytoplasmic membrane, then the flagella which is there surrounding the body of the Cell, uh, cell and then at one end they having a long flagella which helps to move from one place to another that is a means of locomotion. So next we will see about the growth of the bacteria. How the growth takes place that is defined as an increase in the mass of bacteria per unit volume of the medium. So how much increase the mass the bacteria can be taken place per unit volume of the medium. Usually it divides by the binary fission. That is simply we can say division of cell. One cell produces a two new cells and then two new cells produces a four new cells. And we have to take care of some favorable conditions. Then only the growth of bacteria can take place properly. They are moisture, pH, nutrition and temperature. These are all the favorable conditions the factors which affects the growth of bacteria okay next 
uh, let's see the remaining part in the next class thank you